Italy celebrated Armistice Day by sending her bombers and fighters on their first battle over British soil. Something like 80 of their wooden warplanes issued a challenge to the RAF. Ha! Forgive me if I laugh, but two squadrons of hurricanes sailed into the fretwork fascist fighters and 13 of the WAPs blew up in a shower of sawdust in as many seconds. The pilot of this Fiat biplane ended up on the coast. Force of habit might have had something to do with it. Perhaps he used to sell ice cream cones on a pier. Into the crowded station draws the train bearing Antonio and a bunch of his brother greasers. Here they come, Grumpy and the Seven Wops. Along comes Sneezy to join Grumpy in the train. So let's meet the Hurricanes and the pilots who smashed up the Fiat's and Capronis. In the first plane is the flight lieutenant you read about and applauded for his daring. When his guns jammed, he rammed the Italian and tore off its port wing with his propeller. Squadron leader Stanford Tuck, DFC, has a freeze of 21 swastikas on his fuselage, one for each Nazi plane he has brought down. What price organ grinders against men such as these? Tin hats, bayonets, bottles of wine and a cheese were found in the wrecked Italian planes. There are not ten men in Italy who can compare with one of our airmen. Mussolini will find better material in some of those things that crawl out of his flying gorgonzolas. Gorgonzola. 